peace, peace. What's going on? Down here, you know, exchange place. We got the view downtown Manhattan right across the way. This this spot right here is real uh it's real important to me because this is right here is uh, one of the locations that we filmed. The second video I ever, I ever did, which was Black Exploitation, directed by Khalil Hayes. But even more so than that, before all this shit was over here and before all this, the Hyatt and all of this kind of stuff, I used to come down here and play chess, you know, uh, sip malt liquor <laughs> and all kinds of other shit. You know what I'm saying? This was just the spot down here. The um, Twin Towers used to be right here. Now, you know, once the Twin Towers fell, like they started changing up the whole area. A lot of the banks that used to be in the World Trade Center moved over here to Jersey City. And some of these buildings behind us right now, it's like the tallest building in New Jersey right here. But um, I like coming down here just cause it's, you know, when people get out of work and all that kind of stuff, like I'm a, I'm a people watcher to an extent, but also at the same time, the water and everything is real peaceful down here. I like it. Come down here, write rhymes. Sometimes just park the car and just sit and listen to music. And, and take and take oh no, it's just the spot. So if y'all ever visit Jersey City and you come down here, you might check it. But um, you know, today, just to let you know a little bit about myself, um, you know, my journey in this hip hop. I've been rhyming since I was like about this big, like 10, 11 years old. Definitely got inspired, you know, by. Rakim, Wu Tang, Redman, Nah, Snoop, all the all the people I was listening to when I was younger. But my homeboy, Boy Fresh, you know, an older head, he gave me all his records. And at the time I wanted to be a DJ. But within those records was followed the leader by Rakim. And once I heard that shit, it's like I knew I wanted to be an MC. So he was like the most influential artist for me. Since then, writing rhymes and all of that. When I was a kid, I used to travel over into the city all the time with my brother Smarty Pants and like throw demos and shit on people's desks and all that. But when you could actually get up into like Sony 550 and Track Masters, Rich Nice and them cats, he's like, oh, that's them two kids from Jersey. They ain't know our names and shit. They just knew we was from Jersey. Cause we would be in there cutting school and all that. And also since we used to DJ parties, we would get free records from the labels and stuff. And that's kind of like my first involvement within the music industry. But then I started uh, veering off of my path and I started getting into a lot of other things really deeply. And I couldn't write rhymes for like a good, I don't know, like from the age of like 17 or 18 to like I was like 20, I guess I wasn't even writing rhymes. I wasn't, all I wanted to do with my life was uh, make porn and sell weed. That's all I really wanted to do with my life and that's, led me down a real fucked up path and then I ran into uh, this dude Mike Marvel who y'all gonna meet in the blogs and everything spit for him and stuff he's like yo come to my studio and ever since then I've been making music seriously since then you know I won two underground music awards for, for black exploitation and live performance off of my first album uh, I've got to tour a lot of the United States, going to England, going to Canada, going to Germany, um, have performed with people I've grown up listening to, like Busta Rhymes, Talib, Common, Dead Prez, Most Deaf. I got to be on the radio with, with, with Africa Bambada spinning, spinning records while I was freestyling, you know what I'm saying? I sat down and built with Cool Hurt, you know, got to meet, you know, Rakim, I've recorded songs with, with, with Lord Jamal, with, with Master Ace, so it's like, you know, for me, when I started doing this shit, like, seriously, in like, 02, all I wanted to do was put out an album and, and, and hear, and hear music that I, that I like, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and get some shit off of my chest, and now I've gotten a good response from people all over the world that have wanted to hear what I had to say, and, like the way I put my music together so it's kind of like now I can't stop doing it because it's it's not it's not a selfish venture you know it's like I make music for the people I don't make it to get rich you know what I'm saying as you can see you know with my brother rugged and raw 
broke and proud, man. I, I just love making music. It, it's, it's, it comes from my soul and it, it keeps me sane, you know? So that's basically what it is. And right now, I'm working on this album with my brother Rugged and Raw. It's called Muhammad Dangerfield. And I'm working on my solo project, my third album, which is entitled Life in Black and White. So for all you people who don't know me out there, you gotta go back, you gotta get that Paradise Lost, Children of God, and Tales of the Lost Tribe, the mixtape, um, Tales of the Lost Tribe, to keep up, you know what I'm saying? Check the videos out, and you know, this is all just a, just an introduction, so y'all know who I am and what I'm about. You know, because it goes a lot deeper than music. You catch me in the community, I do this for my people. The world that we live in is, is it's wrong, it's fucked up, you know? And and music has the power to change the world. You know, don't don't get it twisted with all this uh, laffy taffy, you know, plastic commercial bullshit. True music from 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 the soul, that music that was on the plantation that that, that told us to follow the North Star, you know, the blues, jazz, you know, reggae, all of that, that music has the power to change the world, and that's what we do with hip hop. So stay tuned, y'all. Walk on water. Peace.